Hey guys, so I just came back from my shift at the ICU and I finally got to meet my permanent preceptor. She's my main one that I'll be, I'm going to be following throughout my externship program. And we had a good time. I mean, she was a really cool chick and we hit it off pretty well. I think I, I came off a little bit serious because I didn't want to come off uh, like unprofessional, you know, just seeing her for the first time. So for the first day, we were just kind of feeling each other out. However, uh, I think that while we were talking and while we got to know each other, she discussed and wanted to find out exactly what was my end goal. Like, what was my goal after I got done with uh, my externship? And she didn't know that I had already finished my clinical residency. And I explained to her that my externship is extra experience at the department of my choice, which is the ICU and that I had to get interviewed for this position so I was really very excited to be in the ICU. However, I was working at the Neuro ICU and that's where I'm uh, doing my externship and she mentioned that the Neuro ICU is very specialized and that the hospital that I'm currently working at uh, does not have enough budget for a new grad program. So, she made it she, saw, she said that there was no new grad program for the ICU, the neuro ICU that I'm working at. And I gotta tell you, I'm really sad about that because I was very happy about getting the externship because I was under the impression that I was going to get some kind of consideration for getting hired to the unit. But uh, she mentioned that the neuro ICU was way too specialized and that the uh, medical ICU was more broader and better for me because I would learn more and she said she was happy to have me there and she wanted me to work more shifts but I gotta tell you I died inside because I thought why am I working for free for a whole month for 12 hour shifts like three to four 12 hour shifts a week for nothing you know and I felt really bad about that and it kind of started to hinder me throughout the day I, I don't know if she picked up on it but it was just really very disappointing because I'm working my ass off for free in order to get the hopes of working for the unit, you know? I mean, at least to have that consideration, to have that chance. But she pretty much said that there was no way, you know, because they don't do any new grad programs. And I need to be able to get into a new grad program so that I can get hired to a place that I want to work at, you know? I need to start working. This is the whole point of why I went to school. This is the whole point why I racked up student loans and wanted to become a nurse. But um, I went and called my friends, my bestie, and I said, look, I need to go get something to drink. I need to go drink this out because I'm feeling like crap today. And it was not easy working at the ICU. It's not easy seeing that your patient is close to death. And then pretty much walking every time I come into the unit, um, my patient has died and I have to go pick up a new patient and I feel bad about the previous patient because I worked so hard um, to be able to do well and to be able to take care of that patient that I really actually cared about. So, you know, it's not easy and I give respect, mad respect to all the ICU nurses, to all nurses really that are taking care and doing their best for their patient, whether or not they're doing um, well physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So, it really made me feel down to know that I probably wouldn't get a chance to be able to work at the unit that I'm actually doing my externship at. So, but, after a couple of drinks, got sobered up, drove home, took care of myself. Um, you know, I, I made sure that I didn't get crazy because I still have to work tomorrow. And I made a resolve. I made a resolve that I decided to choose to become a nurse and I wanted to work at the ICU. So it doesn't matter whether or not they're going to hire me at the end, I'm going to make the decision, and I have made the decision, that I'm going to do my best to take care of my patients regardless of whether or not I'm going to be hired at this unit. I'm not going to take it lying down and think that I'm defeated because I'm not going to get the job that I want. I'm going to look at this as a positive experience and see that the ICU is calling my name and whether or not I get to work at the Neuro ICU, and the, which is the unit that I've been hired to have my externship at, but I'm still going to do my best. 
I'm still gonna be happy that I'm getting this experience that my other classmates can't enjoy because I was the one that was chosen and I'm still gonna respect that and I'm gonna do my very best every single day all throughout those 12 hours to be happy that I'm getting the experience, the honor, the privilege to take care of these patients that depend on me and want me to learn as best as I can and I'm, going not, I'm not going to take their deaths in vain. I'm going to use every single minute, every single second, every single nanosecond to be able to better myself so that when I do get hired into the unit and the ICU or wherever that I want to work at, that I'll have taken all this experience and all this knowledge that I have gotten and I didn't cry about it and didn't defeat myself over it. Instead, I learned from everything and every single experience and I soaked it up and I'm gonna use it for all my future patients. So that's what I've decided to do. I'm not gonna get it, let it get me down. I'm gonna have a lot of grit and I'm gonna be thankful for all my experiences, whether or not they lead to the job that I want. I will get the job that I want eventually based on my merit and because they know that I'm passionate about what I do. And I'm not gonna let any obstacles, like not getting the job that I want right away, bring me down. I know I'm a good nurse, and I know that I love this job. I want to be with my patients. I don't wanna be sequestered in any computer room. I wanna be able to be right there, side by side, with every single patient that I take care of. Whether or not it's a life-threatening situation, whether it's just a small bruise, or a small wound, or a small cut, to whether or not they are, they are in life-threatening um, situations where they need a ventilator, ET tube, Foley catheter, dignity care, uh, whether they need A-lines, um, external ventricular drip, all that. I'm gonna do my best whether or not, depending, I mean, I'm gonna do my best regardless of what patient stands in front of me. And I give you my word on that. And I'm gonna take my job seriously I take this job as a nurse with honor and I'm going to honor my patients and do my best regardless of where that takes me. This is a mem memo to myself that I will continue to feel this way all throughout my career and if I don't then I'll know that I have to move on or step down. Okay, thanks for listening.